Welcome to a new podcast. This is Everything with Everett, a talk show podcast hosted by Everett McConaughey from Boise, Idaho. The purpose of this production is to share thoughts, voices, and information to further a discussion on who we are as individuals, communities, and a global presence. Everything with Everett is open to all topics of discussion, faith, religion, history, finances, and well, everything. Follow, like, listen, and subscribe. Visit EverettMcConaughey.com. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new format of the podcast, Everything with Everett. Starting this week, I am breaking up the podcast into two 15-minute segments. One is called Everything with Everett in the News, and then the other one is Everything with Everett in the Know. The In the News episode, which will be flagged with some red coloring on the podcast uh, pages for the episode art, and then on the YouTube version has uh, red flags on it. The, that podcast will be based solely on what's in the news, current events, politics. So kind of a little bit more of an option if you really don't want to like hear about the negative real life stuff. Um, so that's what the in the news section will be. Again, 15 minutes. And then uh, the other option is going to be in the know. It's going to be flagged with green. Uh, on the episode art as well as on YouTube in similar ways. And it'll be 15 minutes of something that is either inspirational, educational. Um, I'm not, I don't want to say that it's totally going to be an uplifting episode, but it's, and it could be based on news, but it's not going to be like in your face, like here's what Trump did or here's what, obviously once Trump gets out of the uh, office, <laughs> things are going to get a little bit better. So it, it could become a wash, but either way, the podcast is breaking up into two distinct uh, segments per week. It'll help me quit the rambling and stay on point. Um, again, one will focus very closely on news and current events, and then the other one will be a little bit more informative, discussional, and informational. So hope you enjoy it. Let me know what your thoughts are on it. As we go down, there will be two 15-minute podcasts, so it's still 30 minutes per week. Um, but starting this week, two podcasts. I will post them on separate days, I think. Um, or I might do them on the same day, just so you have both. But I don't know. We haven't decided that yet. Also, just so that you know, there will not be a podcast next week as my time allotment expires. So going to take a break next week and then be back with you on the same format the week after. New year, new you, new podcast. Have you ever thought about hosting a podcast? I'll admit the process can seem overwhelming, but I'm sure glad that I chose Buzzsprout as my podcast hosting platform. Not only do they have a modern website with all the tech features you can imagine, but they also have super friendly and helpful staff that will answer your questions unbelievably fast, even if you're on the free plan. Click the link in the show notes and let Buzzsprout know Everett sent you. You'll get a $20 Amazon gift card if you sign up for a paid plan as a thank you from Buzzsprout. And you'll help this show. All right. Thank you very much, Buzzsprout, for that sponsorship info. So this week, I want to talk about the very cringeworthy phone call from our president, Mr. Donald J. Trump, between the Secretary of State of Georgia. Tonight is the 5th of January when I'm recording this, and the there's the runoff election going on for the, um, the tie for the senators. Um, this outcome of this election will help uh, either give Democrats the majority of Congress or if Republicans can maintain their two seats from Georgia, then it'll st it'll be 50-50 with Kamala Harris since she'll be vi uh, vice president acting as the tiebreaker. 
So kind of a majority, but not an actual majority. But if the Democrats win this, we'll have Kamala Harris as a tiebreaker, because that's what the vice president does. And then we'll have two additional seats. So at that point, Democrats would have the majority in Congress. So without further delay, let's go to excerpts from the uh, phone call that he had. Um, it's really kind of intriguing. Anyway, this audio was apparently recorded by the Sen- Secretary of State of Georgia's office. It was obtained by the Washington Post, and the video that I'm about to play was captured from the Washington Post the- via their YouTube page, so look for it there if you'd like to see that um, yourself. We have won this election in Georgia based on all of this. And there's, there's nothing wrong with, with saying that, Brad. You know, I mean, having, the, having a correct... You, the people of Georgia are angry. And these numbers are going to be repeated on Monday night, along with others that we're going to have by that time, which are much more substantial even. And the people of Georgia are angry. The people of the country are angry. And there's nothing wrong with saying that, you know... Uh, that you've recalculated. Well, Mr. President, the challenge that you have is the data you have is wrong. Now, do you think it's possible that they uh, shredded ballots in uh, Fulton County? Because that's what the rumor is. And also that Dominion took out machines. Uh, That Dominion is really moving fast to get rid of their uh, machinery. Do you know anything about that? Because that's illegal. No, Ryan, Germany. No, Dominion has not um, moved any machinery out of Fulton County. We're having. Well, but no, but election. but have they moved? Uh, have they have they moved the inner parts of the machines and replaced them with other parts? No. You sure, Ryan? I'm sure. You should want to have an accurate election, and you're a Republican. We believe that we do have an accurate election. No, I no, you don't. No, no, you don't. You don't have. You don't have. Not even close. You got. You're off by hundreds of thousands of votes. You know what they did, and you're not reporting it. That's a. You know, that's a criminal. That's a criminal offense. And and you know you can't let that happen. That's that's a big risk to you and to Ryan, your lawyer. That's a big risk. But they are shredding ballots, in my opinion based on what I've heard, and they are removing machinery uh, and they're moving it as fast as they can, both of which are criminal fines and you can't let it happen and you are letting it happen. You know, I mean, I'm notifying you that you're letting it happen. So, look, all I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have, because we won the state. So so tell me, Brad, what are we going to do? We won the election, and it's not fair to take it away from us like this. And it's going to be very costly in many ways. And I think you have to say that you're going to reexamine it, and you can reexamine it, but, but reexamine it with people that want to find answers, not people that don't want to find answers. Uh, for instance, I'm hearing Ryan, and he's probably, I'm sure, a great lawyer and everything, but he's making statements about those ballots that he doesn't know. But he's making them with such, he, he did make them with surety, but now I think he's less sure, because the answer is they all went to Biden. And that alone wins us the election by a lot. You know, so. Mr. President, uh, you have people that submit information and we have our people that submit information, and then it comes before the court, and the court then has to make a determination. We have to stand by our numbers. We believe our numbers are right. Well, under law, you're not allowed to give faulty election results, okay? You're not allowed to do that, and that's what you've done. This is a faulty election result. And honestly, this should go very fast. You should meet tomorrow, because you have a big election election coming up, 
And because of what you've done to the president, you know, the people of, of uh, Georgia know that this was a scam. And because of what you've done to the president, a lot of people aren't going out to vote. And a lot of Republicans are going to vote negative because they hate what you did to the president. OK, they hate it. And they're going to vote. And if you would be respected, if really respected, if this thing could be straightened out before the election. You have a big election coming up on Tuesday. All right. So that video, again, was from The Washington Post, a phone call that President Donald Trump had with the Georgia Secretary of State. Honestly, it's just baffling that this president is in denial about uh, election results. These Republicans called Democrats sore losers when uh, he won in 2016, and now they are the sore sore losers. President Trump, in my opinion, is a narcissistic. Uh, He's this is mental illness, people. We have a problem. We have a crazy president who is trying to do everything that he can to maintain power by overturning an an election. And we have Mitch McConnell. No one in the Republican Party wants to say the people voted and we're moving forward. They only acknowledge the Electoral College. They don't care about you. Republicans do not care about you. They care about their friends. They care about their loyal uh electoral college people. But this Republican party that we're seeing now is either hijacked by some crazy power hungry lobby paid individuals or the Republicans are trying to destroy America and the things that we value. They talk about running and protecting the constitution. The constitution says that you vote and your vote matters. They're trying to throw out the votes of Georgia. They're trying to um, throw out the votes of swing states that didn't uh, get the outcome that they wanted. This is a problem. And we need to hold everyone accountable to this. I really appreciate Mitt Romney's comments the other day uh, stating that he, he felt that this was very dangerous, that this undermines the, our democracy, um, I'll probably find his quote at some point later on if it keeps being an issue, but this is a problem. If you voted for Donald Trump at any point and you're not concerned by what he's doing, I question if you're a patriotic American because this is not a good thing at all. Anyway. Thanks to the new 15-minute format, we are moving right along, and we'll be just about to wrap up here. I'm going to start the outro music here in just a second. I do appreciate you being with me today, and I, I hope that if you aren't or are of the Republican mindset, that you have a discussion with those that you care about. Ask them what they think. We definitely need to focus our dollars on the rural education system and take mental health seriously. Donald Trump is not fit to be president now or in 2024. So, it is what it is. Joe Biden takes office in two weeks. I am so thrilled. He's not my ideal candidate. Like I said, our country is hosed. What put Donald Trump in office is still present, and we have a lot of work to do. Thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you later on. Thank you for listening. Join the conversation. Send a text message or leave a voicemail at 208 391 2808. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and several podcasting platforms. All the information at everettmcconaughey.com.
Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. Was that a thumbs up? Please be sure to like and subscribe. Also, click the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. You can find out more about my Facebook page, Twitter account, and podcast at everettmcconaughey.com. Also, if you have any comments on today's episode, go ahead and leave it in the comments discussion down below, or you can call or text 208-391-2808. Thanks.